Hello students, welcome to this video. My name is Fabi Fitzgerald and in today's lesson I will be talking to you about phrases. Alright, in this lesson you will learn how to differentiate a phrase from a clause. Okay, let's get started. The first example here on the board is a complete and concrete sentence. It says, the smoke was coming from somewhere in the middle of the woods. But phrases don't have a subject or a verb. So, if we take this away, the smoke, forget about this here, this let alone was coming would be a verb phrase. Okay? From somewhere in the middle of the woods. We have two more phrases in this sentence. From somewhere, somewhere. We have from, so we know that's a preposition. So this makes this, from somewhere, a prepositional phrase. All right? In the middle of the woods is another prepositional phrase because we have the preposition in. So this is a prepositional phrase. And this is a verb phrase. All right? All right. As you can see, the phrases don't have a subject or a verb. Was coming. That's a verb phrase. But it doesn't have a subject. From somewhere in the middle of the building. From somewhere. It's a prepositional phrase. In the middle of the, of the woods, I mean. It's another prepositional phrase. All right? The next one says, Samantha has gone to the movie theater with her parents. Right? Right here we have Samantha. We have the subject. So we are just going to forget about this one. Okay, has gone. What kind of phrase is this? This is a verb phrase. Has gone. Next, we have a preposition, to. To the movie theater. To the movie theater. So this means that this is a prepositional phrase. With her parents. We have another preposition and complement. So it's another prepositional phrase. Right? If we wanted to make this or turn this into a clause, we would include, let me get another marker, we would include all of this. Samantha has gone to the Okay, I just went too far. To the movie theater. This would be what we call an independent clause. Because we have a subject, we have a, a, a subject and a predicate. Samantha has gone to the movie theater. And this right here, let alone with her parents, would be a dependent clause. Because it doesn't make sense alone. All right? So, a clause has a verb and a subject. And a phrase does not have a verb or a subject. All right? So, we have dependent clauses with her parents. You need something else to complement it to understand it. And independent clauses. Samantha has gone to the movie theater. All right? Which, let alone, can make one full sentence. All right? So... As you can see here, phrases are kind of like incomplete thoughts, all right? Okay, next I am going to give you some more practice examples so that you can interact with me. All right, now let's practice a little bit. Um, you are going to help me circle the phrases and tell what kind of phrase it is. Right now we're, we are only working with um, verb phrases and prepositional phrases. As we advance in this um, course, we will be seeing different kinds 
uh, phrases, all right? Okay, the first one says, I was singing in the shower at my mother's house. This is a very complete thought. So let, if we leave it like this, this would be an independent clause. I was singing in the shower. If you break this up right here at my mother's house, that would be a dependent clause because it depends on this to make sense. To have a, it must have a subject and a predicate. Okay, but we're gonna forget about this just now. Let's leave this out. Was singing, was singing. This would be the verb, I mean the verb phrase, yes. The first phrase here would be was singing, which is a verb phrase. It doesn't have a subject and it doesn't have a verb and let alone it doesn't make sense. Was singing in the shower at my mother's house. The next one is this one. And we know it's a prepositional phrase because we have a preposition here, in, in the shower. So this is a prepositional phrase. And the next part of the sentence says, at my mother's house. So that would be the last part of the sentence and it's a prepositional phrase or you could also call it a dependent clause all right at my mother's house the next one says i have been wanting to visit london for a while i have been wanting to visit london for a while okay let's pretend there's no subject here we're going to take it out i have been wanting no longer right have been is the first phrase here and it's a verb phrase correct correct wanting to visit london wanting to visit london actually the verb phrase is up till here i have been wanting have been wanting is a verb phrase to visit london is a prepositional phrase. For a while, we have another preposition. It's a prepositional phrase. To visit London for a while, all right? And the last one says, my shoes are being polished by the housekeeper. My shoes, all right? So we are going to take out the subject Okay, our being would be the first phrase, which is a prepositional phrase, I mean a verb phrase, verb phrase. Polished by the housekeeper. We have a preposition here, by, so this would be the, what? Prepositional phrase. All right. I hope this is not too confusing. If you look up more videos on phrases later on, you will get this a little bit more concretely. All right. All right. Let me move on to some homework because you need to practice to improve your English and it will help you um, get used to this grammatical structure. All right. Thank you so much for watching. All right, so for homework, you are going to practice through writing two sentences and underlining the phrases. For those of you who have a workbook, just do it in your workbook. And if you don't, please leave your homework in the comment section below this video, along with any comment, suggestion, or question you may have. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you next time. Would you like to watch my next video? Click on the television to the right. Phrases and clauses, but a phrase, as we may already know, does not have a subject or a verb.